Okay, here we have uh, a proof to do. We need to prove that the diagonals of a parallelogram are perpendicular if and only if the length of their sides are equal. Okay, so the first thing that I want to do is just get some intuition about what we're actually trying to prove and, and, and write a, a mathematical statement of what we're trying to prove. So kind of convert these words into uh, math. So the first thing I'm going to do is just draw a parallelogram to see what's going on. So here are two vectors, u and v, and we know we can make a parallelogram out of them. So here's, well, let me switch to a thinner brush. So here's u and here is v. And we know we can make a parallelogram out of them, so let's do that. Oh, and I should tell you that I made these vectors exactly equal in length because it says that we want them to be equal in length. So I wanted to see what was going on with that. And now we know how to create the diagonals, right? If we do head to head to tail addition, we can get this main diagonal and we know that that's u plus v. And then how do we get the uh, other diagonal? Well, the other diagonal is just u minus v. So that is here. u minus v. We talked about that in vector subtraction. The, the vector pointing from the head of one vector to the head of the other is, is u, uh, the vector is vector subtraction essentially. Okay, so we have our two diagonals. Let's see if we can convert this statement in, into some math. So what we're trying to prove is that the diagonals u plus v uh, are perpendicular, right? u plus v and u minus v, we're trying to prove that these are perpendicular. So we could say that their dot product is zero. So the diagonals are perpendicular. That's this, is, that's this statement. The diagonals are perpendicular if and only if the length of their sides are equal. So this is length of u is equal to length of v. Okay, so now we have a, a proof and we, we need to go in both directions. So let's go forward first. Let's say uh, assume Oops, too many M's. Assume that the dot product is is zero. So assume that the vectors are, or sorry, that the diagonals are perpendicular or orthogonal. We're going to assume this, and now we need to prove that the lengths are equal. Okay, well, let's just see what happens uh, through this equation if we expand it out. So that equation implies, what is the dot product expanded here? Well, we're going to have u dot u, which we know is the length of u squared, uh, minus, and then we're going to get minus u dot v, so minus u dot v, plus v dot u, and then we're going to get minus the length of v squared because this is just minus v dot v. Okay, uh, the dot product is commutative, and so u dot v is the same thing as v dot u, so we have a minus v dot u dot v here and a plus u dot v, so those are gonna cancel out. Oh, and I kind of made a mistake here, sorry about that. This is an implication. The fact that this is equal to zero implies that this statement is equal to zero, because all we did was expand it out, which in turn, let me switch colors here. Well, maybe not. Maybe I'll leave it where it was. Which in turn implies that the length of u squared minus the length of v squared, oops, I forgot my vector there, is equal to zero, which again implies that the length of u is equal to uh, the length of u squared is equal to the length of v squared. Well, length of vectors are always positive, 
And so we could take the square root and not really worry about messing up this equality because we're not going to we're not going to need the negative part of the square root because we know both of these lengths are positive. So we take the square root of both sides and we get what exactly what we wanted that the length of u is equal to the length of v. Okay. So we proved uh, that if the vectors, if the diagonals are perpendicular, then their lengths must be equal. Let's go ahead and prove that if the lengths are equal, then the vectors must be perpendicular. So I'm just going to write this kind of backwards implies arrow just to indicate we're doing the other part of the proof now. So we're going to assume that the lengths are equal and what we want to get to is that the vectors are perpendicular or the diagonals are perpendicular. So we're going to assume this. Now this doesn't seem, it seems like, well, where do we go from here? How do we construct uh, a proof out of just this equality? Well, what I would do is I would say, okay, consider, consider the dot product of, of uh, u plus v dotted with u minus v. So the dot product of the diagonals. Now we're not going to say that this is equal to zero. We can't do that. That's what we're trying to prove. But we can just see what comes out when we take this dot product. We know that uh, that this dot product exists. We have two vectors. We can take their dot products. Okay, so let's do that. Well, this is equal to, that dot product is equal to, well, we already did this. It was the length of u squared uh, minus the uh, u dot v plus u dot v I just commuted there, it would be v dot u, but I just uh, commuted the two vectors. And then minus the length of v squared. And this is equal to um, u, the length of u squared minus the length of v squared. Since u is equal to v, we can substitute one in for the other, and we know, of course, that this is equal to zero. So we, we took the dot product, and we found out that, yes, the dot product is equal to zero. So that, that's it. We've, we're, we're done with our proof. We proved that if the lengths are equal, the dot product is zero. We proved that if the dot product is zero, then the lengths are equal. Okay, and, and again, just one more time, when I say that the dot product is zero, what I'm what I'm implying by that, by definition, is that these two uh, vectors are perpendicular, and of course, from the beginning of the video, those two vectors represent the diagonals. Okay, so that's a, a, a somewhat of an interesting proof. the The diagonals of a parallelogram are only perpendicular if and only if the lengths of uh, uh, of the sides are equal. Okay, see you in the next video.